Uh, yes, this is the picture still from the last video because I wish to I wish to comment on a few things. So first and foremost, sorry, I am not speaking very clearly since I'm very focused on the work as I do that. I will amend, so I will comment on what perhaps might have gotten lost. I capitalize, that's what I'm doing at this moment. I'm capitalizing on what happened. So just for letting you know and see there is after all this uh, yeah I have to say to me it will feel diminishing way things turned out on the on the left side of the painting uh, Minzy ran my card and, and moved my pad with the swatch a bit obviously on the brink of everything falling apart my brush fell once and my pen my pencil fell twice on the floor just between the you know the door and the seats all these little items so i kind of intend to not make a fuss and continue the paper of course i knew it's not really watercolor paper it's kind of that was kind of diminishing as well since uh, it doesn't allow <coughs> so much so much working on top and i intuitively had the notion not to put so many brush strokes on it now i don't have another this is 180 grams or maybe it's 190 grams i have uh, another top type of, of pad the one you know the bigger one and that's also 180 although i feel then the tick this surface is a little rougher it will probably allow a tiny bit more of margin and other paper might work completely different but i can only have so very many pads so in terms of i wish to tell you a watercolor and enlightenment um so what I need to do, or what you need to do, is to capitalize. You capitalize on what just happened. If you wish to, then you may do things different, better, or a variety of options. But capitalizing is the situation. Now I have been capitalizing for so long in human relationship that I pretty much have, have figured out where, where it does go. Th that doesn't mean that I always know you know, there is not an exact precision in the words to use, but it's a general idea and the general direction toward where we go. And that's, of course, in my world, always a solution. So let's see now what we do next. As I clean out my, my photo library real quick uh, with the old um, unwanted pictures and video because I don't keep any dirt. I noticed that uh, there's the drawing and then there's the, the unfinished painting and the first step painting and it's kind of hard to believe that this is actually the same. Now don't you think, I haven't thought about that when I did the drawing. I have evaluated that it did cross my mind and my heart. That how similar does it actually look the drawing because I can see the discrepancy absolutely but look now that the colors are coming actually the real Venus face is, is starting to arise. Cool, right? <laughs> I'll just tell you, so you, if you do that, don't be discouraged. <laughs> Go for it. So what we I had to say uh, by capitalizing in my life. Now, I had like two, I mean, probably everyone, but I had two very pronounced, very deep entrained narcissists, uh, very close to me. And they pull up these conversations and these conversations, they are like, um, irrational and they make no sense they're like endless blah blah and, and, and there's no way of getting any solution because solution is exactly what they do not wish to find so it's, it's, a, it's a straight it's like if you want to put a necklace pearl by pearl but they start putting a pearl on one side and when you want to engage in that then they could start putting a pearl in another string and then another string and then they think they make logical sense all the way they hurt you to the extent that you just drown and ever since i was a child i was just drowning drowning and uh, i happen to notice that even though i wish to move forward that these conversations i just had with these people that went in my head on again and again and again and again like a movie repeat repeat yet i was intending to make sense of it because it made me feel so diminished so unwanted not unwelcome but like hated actually and i wish to i don't know i was probably therapying myself in my head because it went on like sometimes for hours right after and um 
eventually it kind of clicked in you know like when you have a bunch of garbage and one on top of the other and you start like like what is it cinderella <laughs> the peas the good thing the good ones in in the good part and the other ones you know in the trash i i started to i started to organize that and could probably actually repeat the whole conversation because i'm not delusional like like them are i am not because i have no wish to convince anybody about anything i have no wish to pass myself on to anybody i have no wish to engage in, in, in enhancing myself to change your reality at all I just wish peace and harmony and if you accuse us of this and that I wish you to notice that this is very unclear in your head or in your heart or if you had on and this is not what I wish this is not what I said and but eventually after like 35 years I noticed they don't want a solution they just want to accuse so it was all useless but the clarity was in me and um, my attempt was to be good and um, finally I wasn't that stupid to have these conversations in my head for a while until I got the clarity again and again I probably which I of course had no clue pushed the notion into the field so other people could grasp that concept to feel free because that's what this is all about not that you accept it by others but that you are free of them trampling you down emotionally free and independent although they do trample you down and although you do feel pain uh, you don't depend on it like a child it depends on the approval of the outside world because a child cannot distinguish uh, before six years old what comes in and out so everything gets absorbed when you are older then you can maybe wish oh wait and that's what i did like all my life that's what i did what i which i named capitalizing feel and that did not felt right that just didn't sound right and again and again and again each of the items capitalizing the fact is uh, how do you wish to consider yourself that you can have any opinion whatsoever on on the subject of us or princess Zilke at all how do you wish to push your own opinion and your own what not onto us onto her you don't know her you haven't seen anything and you start not by looking or by asking or by requesting or by insight or by not even by capitalizing you start by pushing your opinion onto God